Hello YouTube, if you are trying to find a way how to unencrypt or decrypt your phone, in this video I will show you how you can do it on your OnePlus 3. So if you go to settings menu, here you can see I am using OnePlus 3 running on Oxygen OS and go to security and fingerprint option, down below you can find encrypt phone, it, the status is showing encrypted. So in this video I will show you how you can unencrypt your OnePlus 3. And using this method you can also disable the force encryption of the phone in case if you are flashing some latest version of Oxynoys using GWRP. So first of all, I will provide a link in the description which will show you how you can unlock your bootloader, install GWRP recovery and then root your OnePlus 3. So go ahead and watch if it's required. So to, to unencrypt, you are going to need a tool tool name is tool all in one this tool is mainly for the oneplus users i will provide the link in the description from there you can download it so this is the interface besides that you need to download the latest version of super su i will provide the link in the description so go ahead and download the latest version of flashable recovery zip so here you can see uh, i have downloaded that one next i'll go ahead and uh, make sure the developer option is enabled on the phone and if not go to phone settings tap build number for seven times so these developer options will be enabled once that is enabled make sure that this OEM unlocking as well as this USB debugging options are enabled if not enable it and on PC you can uh, check the status here no devices phone now I'm going to connect OnePlus 3 to the PC once that is connected it will ask to allow the USB debugging option so click on OK once that is done click on check here so you can see ADB device is ready only when you are getting this message then only you can go ahead and do the remaining stuff if not there is some problem with the driver installations make sure that you have installed the right and correct driver and then check again so once that is done reboot click on reboot in fastboot mode so the phone will be rebooting and fastboot mode so here you can see the fastboot mode and the device has been unlocked because my bootloader has been unlocked so you next you need to type some command so go for that go to click on advanced options and then here open free terminal with adb and fastboot for villages click here and you will get this command prompt there you need to type fastboot devices so this will list all the devices connected using the fastboot method. If you don't see any device here, there is some problem with the device driver. So correct it and then come back. Once it's done, you need to type fastboot format format user data. Once you type that one, you have to enter. Before that, let me tell you that this will wipe all the files in your phone so make sure that all your movies music files and everything has been backed up on your PC before doing this otherwise all all those things will be lost it so make sure you are backed up everything so click press enter so the user data will be formatted once everything has been completed you will be seeing this finished option here so you can go back to your phone and then press the volume down button twice so you will get this recovery mode so press the power button so the phone will reboot into the TWRP recovery because we are currently running on TWRP recovery so the phone will reboot and close this window so it will ask whether we need to keep the system read only click on never show this screen again and then swipe allow modification so once you are here, you can copy the downloaded super SU file, copy this one and then copy that one to the phone. So let's say I'm pasting here in the main screen. So I've copied that one. So next, go ahead and click on install. And then here you will be able to see the super SU file. So select that, swipe to confirm. 
it will be flashing this super issue. Once that is done, you can reboot the system. You don't need to install this uh, TWRP app, you can just leave it. So the phone will reboot and the phone might restart a couple of times, no issues, just patient. Once the phone is loaded, you can go ahead and finish the initial setup and you can also remove the cable from PC. The phone is loaded completely, so go to settings menu, security and fingerprint, and down below you can find there is an option called encrypt phone. It was encrypted before, now it will show you the way to encrypt your phone. So basically that means your phone has been unencrypted or decrypted. So this is how you can decrypt your OnePlus 3 or 3T. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please like the video and then share if possible. I'll be coming up with more OnePlus goodies. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.